When you leave paved roads, a few things change. Here are some driving tips to make your trail ride better. Rather than leaning your seat back like you would for a relaxing Sunday drive, set it to where it is comfortably upright so you can see farther ahead. The more you can see, the better choices you will make when picking a route. Don't forget to use your seat belt. It will keep you secured in your seat, which is important as you bounce around or lean over in off-camber spots on the trail. Use both hands on the steering wheel. There tend to be a lot of turns on trails, so we need to be more precise in our steering to avoid hitting trees and rocks. Using both hands also helps prevent bump steer, which is caused by the tires moving up and down over rough terrain. As drivers, we need to firmly control our path to lower the risk of getting stuck or causing damage. Keep your thumbs out of the steering wheel spokes. A rapid jerk on the steering wheel can hurt or break your thumbs. Adjust your side mirror so that you can see the truck behind you and so that you can back up, if necessary, without turning your head around. Most people unconsciously turn the steering wheel as they turn their heads to look behind them. This can possibly cause them to get sideways on a hill and roll over. To avoid jerky movements on the gas pedal, rest the right side of your right foot against the transmission tunnel and your heel on the floor. This helps in stabilizing your foot. Then you can practice rolling your foot on and off the gas pedal in a controlled manner. Try it and see how it works. Selecting the right gear when going uphill or downhill can be tricky. The general rule of thumb is to upshift for uphill and downshift for downhill. This works equally well with both manual and automatic transmissions. A steep hill may require some speed to reach the top. You might try second or even third gear in a manual transmission. If you use first gear, you could run out of speed. If you choose a gear that is too high, you may lose traction or stall part way up the hill and have to back down. This can be scary. This is called a failed hill ascent. When using an automatic transmission, leave it in drive when traveling uphill. The transmission will upshift for you as you go. When traveling downhill, pull the transmission lever back to first. This will prevent the transmission from upshifting and will give you some engine compression to slow you down. This saves the brakes and may prevent sliding or skidding. If you have a manual transmission and the engine is stalled, shift into reverse and use your keys to restart the engine while in gear. Use your side mirrors to guide you back down in your own tracks. It can be easy to get offline when backing, and this could very well cause a rollover. It's critical that you drive straight up a hill and then back straight down to be safe. When faced with difficult or rough terrain, decisions need to be made as to what is the best path for your vehicle. Several factors need to be considered, especially if you're the first vehicle in line. When in doubt, get out. If you can't see over the hill or around the bend, take a short walk to avoid surprises. Generally, you want to look for the path of least resistance. In other words, the path that has the fewest obstacles or smallest obstacles and is least likely to get you stuck. Once you've figured that out, you can look for optional routes that may have some fun challenges. Take a moment or two to look ahead as far as you can see. Figure out where you want to end up. Don't drive into a dead end because you didn't scout your route. Look for rocks, logs, or anything else that is higher than your ground clearance. You will generally need to go around those obstacles or put your tires on them to avoid getting high centered. The term high centered describes what happens when you try to drive over something taller than your ground clearance. Whenever possible, pick a path that is low and level. That may mean straddling a rut. The key is to go slow and keep the vehicle level. In general, go as slow as possible, but as fast as necessary. If you drive slowly, you have more time to correct your path and feel what the vehicle is doing under you. If it's getting tippy, you have time to stop. And if you hit a rock on the trail, you're less likely to do damage and more likely to be able to back off of it. As fast as necessary means that there will be times when you need momentum to keep you from getting stuck. Generally, if you're driving through deep mud or on soft sand, you will need to keep up your speed a little to avoid sinking. The correct speed will vary and figuring that out requires a little trial and error or following an experienced driver. Once you have momentum, steer gently and stop slowly to avoid sinking. Always cross logs and ditches at an angle. This will allow one tire at a time to lift over the log or drop into the ditch. The remaining three tires will give you traction and stability. Try for a 45 degree angle if there is enough room. Too steep of an angle and you will have both front tires on the obstacle at the same time. Too shallow of an angle may cause the tires to slide along the log or in the ditch. Practice this when you can. Always be sure to check the depth of water and mud before entering a mud hole or pool of water. It's not fun, neither is walking home. 
Always use an established water crossing and go directly from shore to shore. Do not drive upstream or downstream. This stirs up silt and ruins fish habitat. Take caution when pivoting around trees and boulders. A frequent mistake is to turn too soon. This is called wheel cheat and can cause you to scrape the rear half of your truck. Get the front half of your truck past the obstacle before turning and swing wide if you can. So go out and have fun. Hopefully these tips will save you from some of the more embarrassing stories. <laughs>